Hey to he. Alright, so this time we are going to be reading uh, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves Heroes Unite by Nicole Johnson, based on the screenplay by Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly. However, somebody wanted to say hi to you. Hi to Because remember, all we can do is hear right now. Talk to him. See, you need to hurry up and get better. All right. So, here we go. Welcome to the land of Faerun. All sorts of people live across the land in places like the tall sword mountains and the busy city of Neverwinter. Beneath Faerun is the Underdark, and some unlucky people live in a snowy prison called Re Revel's Inn. Nice little picture of somebody on, looks like a carriage sled. Edgin is a bard, which means he makes music and is friendly and brave. He used to be a hero, but now he is in Revel's End for stealing. Can he be a hero again? Holga is also in Revel's End. She is a barbarian, so she is a good, strong fighter. She and Edgin both got caught during a big heist. Their friends escaped with the treasure. Uh, so in the picture, you see Edgen playing his lute, and Holger swinging a axe. Edgen and Holger want to be let out of prison. They talk to the council that will decide their fate. Edgen is very convincing, and he is sure they will get out. Edgen tells the council about his daughter, Kira. He says he only tried to steal the treasure so he could take care of his family. So in this picture is Edgen talking to the council, trying to convince them. And in the next picture over, you see Edgen with Kira. As Edgen tells his story, a new council member enters the chamber. The council member has wings. Edgen and Holgo get up and grab him, and they all jump out the window. The council member uses his wings to land them safely on the ground. Edgen and Holga are free. So, you have Edgen holding on to the council member's arm and Holga on the back. The council member is actually what's called a kenku which is a bird humanoid species. So, Edgen and Holga run away from the prison. After a long journey south, they see Neverwinter in the distance. They stop to make a plan. They decide to go to the city and get the treasure back, and Edgen's daughter, Kira, too. Both are with their old friend, Forge. Right. In this picture, you see Edgen and Volga staring at the city longingly, making dastardly plans. Mm -hmm. Once they arrive in Neverwinter, they quickly learn where Forge is. He became Lord of Neverwinter, and he now lives in the city's castle. Forge was a thief and a con man. When Edgen and Holga met him, how did he become the Lord of Neverwinter? Uh, in the picture, you see Edgen and Holga walking down the street of Neverwinter. And a picture of Forge with a golden chalice and a real creepy grin. And it's in the house while you didn't know what it's cute, right? Nope. Mm -hmm. so, in the castle, Kira greets Edgen. Edgen is happy to see his daughter, but he learns that Forge lied to her. He told Kira that Edgen only cared about the treasure. Kira walks away upset. 
I didn't hold a meet with Forge. Forge says that he became Lord of Neverwinter to become a better man in Kira's eyes. Then the evil wizard Sophina walks into the room. Yeah. In this picture, you see Egan trying to talk with Kira as she walks away. And in the next page, you see Egan and Holger talking animately with Forge. Sophina is the reason Edgen and Holger got caught during their big heist. They are shocked that Forge is working with them. Edgen and Holger try to leave, but Sophina uses her powers to trap them. Forge reveals that he will never let Edgen have the treasure or Kira. They are his now. In this picture, you see Sophina, who's a way red wizard of Thay, you casting a quicksand spell. Now the red wizards are very evil creatures that actually come from a different dimension. Yeah. They come from the shadow realm. That's nice There's a kingdom called Thay there that is ruled by an undead leader. And it's pretty much one big giant cult that owns an entire floating city in the Darklands. Forge's guards let Edgen and Holga out of the city, but Edgen will not leave without Kira. Edgen and Holga fight off the guards. They need a new plan to save Kira and get their treasure. They know they cannot do it alone. In this picture, you see Edgen running around with the loot in hand, like he's ready to bop someone on the head. And then you see Kira in the background holding a guard in a headlock and punching him. Edgen and Holga go to a nearby playhouse. There, they see a sorcerer performing a magic show. The sorcerer is not very good. The crowd is bored. They do not see the sorcerer using his magic to steal from them behind their backs. See, in this picture, you see the sorcerer casting magic, slowly pickpocketing people, and trying to steal all their goods. Looks like you have necklaces, a couple of medals, or medallions, Gems. coin purses, bowl. a bowl. No, that, I think that's supposed to be a coin. The sorcerer is their friend Simon. After Edgen and Holga were arrested, Forge and Sophina tried to hurt Simon. He has been hiding from them ever since. He agrees to help Edgen, Edgen and Holga. And he knows someone who else someone else who can help. Simon leads Edgen and Holga to a nearby forest. They look for his friend Dork. Doric. Doris. Is it Doris or Doric? Do you remember from the D O R I C. I don't think it's Doric. Doric? Alright, we'll go with Doris. But they only see some guards arresting a wood elf. In this picture. You see Simon leading them through the forest. Suddenly, an owlbear jumps out at the guards. The guards run away and the owlbear transforms into a person and frees the elf. It is Doris. Doris is a druid. She can shapeshift into all kinds of animals. She uses her skills to protect her friends. She agrees to help the group. Get Kira and the treasure back. In this picture, you see her as an owl bear, which is a bear with feathers and beaks like an owl. And she's about to crush some guards. And then in the other picture, you see her as a human. She has horns, which means she is a tiefling from the looks of it. The group needs a plan. The vault holding the treasure has 
magical protection. They wonder how they will get through. Simon knows a way. Simon tells the group about a magical helmet. It dispels, uh, disables nearby enchantments, like the spell guarding the vault. The group discovers that a paladin named Zenek had, had the helmet glass. Zenek is a brave and kind. And he always tries to do what is right. Zenek agrees to help the group if they promise to share their treasure with the people of Neverwinter. They agree. Zenek leads the group to where he hid the helmet in the Underdark. And they get the helmet. This is a picture of Zenek and the group being led around in the Underdark. The Underdark is a realm that is hidden completely underneath that. It's what... Yeah, it is just as big as the world, and it covers, it's a huge connection of caves and every, and tunnels and stuff like that. So, basically, he's coming up, it's basically like a deeper, darker inner side of the earth. Yeah, inner earth. That's also where all the drows and drogar live, and usually. Each person brings something special to the team. Together, they are sure they can defeat Forge and Sophina, save Kira, and get the treasure to the people of Neverwinter. That looks like that's the end of this book. Well, I joy they're going to be doing more books in the series to keep up with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. It was a little bit shorter than I thought it was. Alright, either way. I hope you like it. Anything you want to say, Lynn? Come back soon. They can... You understand? You want to just get in the picture frame? Wave hi. Say you love them. Miss them. Bye, baby. You come home. Yeah. You better come home. Love you. Love you.